I don't know whether it was the power of suggestion or what, but uh, when Rick became my teacher, um, I, I totally fell for him. I always thought it was a huge cliche. It was something I would never do, and I was yeah. really quite serious about it. But somehow during the year over desk crits, uh, there was a way that we have talking to each other and talking about projects, which really was the thing that attracted us to each other, I think more than a physical attraction at first. I left school at 79, um, and so we started to, um, to work together uh, in some capacity right around then. When we first started working, Elizabeth was afraid she was going to be consumed, and in fact I think the first new projects you did, you did without me. Um, mm -hmm. She had to establish her I, own. I had her, a problem with authorship. Yeah, she had to establish her <laughs> but, own voice. But I had a problem with everything. I had a problem with sharing a bed, right. sharing a bank account, right. and it's, sharing authorship. So, but I got over all of that. We both came out from different directions. I was very interested in why decisions are being made about architecture, what shape space, what shapes, program. Uh, how does architecture arrive at these decisions? And it and it began to focus in for me on things which are so familiar that we never question them, uh, which had to do with the way we use space, the way we accept a program without question. Well, cultural and conventions cultural of everyday conventions, yeah, life. Every day. It was also uh, our mutual feeling that, that there was so much more to it, and architecture was so much more complex, and, and it, it intersected um, you know, all these different aspects of, of culture. And, and both of us were very interested in um, you know, the, the politics of space. The one thing that we uh, wholeheartedly rejected was the notion of architecture as an autonom autonomous discipline. And that, I have to say, that uh, Cooper Union in his heyday uh, was really promoting. And it was, you know, while it was in a sense important to embrace that for a bit, just to look deep into the discipline. It was also uh, our mutual feeling that, that there was so much more to it and architecture was so much more complex and, and it, it intersected um, you know, all these different aspects of, of culture. And both of us were very interested in um, you know, the, the politics of space. Um, and in terms of um, you know, the uh, kind of just looking at ev the everyday, everyday world with a thick perception, um, seeing what is, yeah, what Rick is saying, is like so much there that you can't see it any longer. It's so familiar. But, but, but I think what yeah. was important is that we were looking at the world with the eyes of an architect. We weren't looking at making architecture. We were looking at and analyzing, you know, everything around us. Uh, culture, politics, everything with the eyes of an architect uh, rather than simply kind of restricting ourselves to clients and programs. Well, I think that also we were, you know, I mean, there's nothing that dates more quickly than the future. So we were, we're very interested in, um, you know, in, in cultural theory and, um, s uh, you know, l looking at all the intersections of very different ways of, of thinking about space. Uh, we, our, we had an inclination towards issues of space. We had many media at our disposal, and we just didn't uh, feel like any, there, was a, there were any limits. Rick and I tried to take a, advantage as much as possible of being in New York and, and uh, you know, seeing uh, contemporary music and, and, uh, and, 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 and going to a, you know, as many shows as we can get to. But in the end, that, that Inspiration comes, you know, it, it just comes when you're not looking and when you're not, when you're really looking um, for it. The, those moments which kind of allow you to understand this, the space that you live in are really very beautiful when they occur. We like to think of architecture as kind of going halfway there and the public comes the other half and kind of completes the work. There are times when I, you know, I could spend a year in class and learn nothing and walking down the hall over here somebody say something as they're walking by and that suddenly everything locks together and there's a great clarity and I wonder what would have happened if that moment hadn't occurred right so there are these kind of moments that have I'm sure been critical in forma formation of wh who I am and what I do um, both structured and unstructured. We, 
we believe that, that, that architecture is not just about bricks and mortar, but it's about um, technologies and activities and events and uh, people and nuance and language and it's about a lot of things. We can't situate ourselves exactly on the side of architecture or art or any particular media. It's, it's everything about what we do is about the in-between. It's the gray area that interests us and the, there's a lot to explore.